The new analysis from researchers at MIT and the University of Oxford call the six-foot social distancing rule outdated science. In the just-published report, evidence suggests the coronavirus could travel up to 26 feet in the air. With viral spread amplified by someone coughing or shouting, several other factors like ventilation, room occupancy and exposure time all play a role. One of the biggest risk factors we have for this virus is time spent indoors. In fact, nearly all of the outbreaks of three or more people occurred indoors. Multiple studies show when we talk, cough, or breathe, a stream of two type of droplets are sent through the air, respiratory and aerosol particles. Researchers say the smaller, lighter aerosol particles can linger in the air for hours, traveling much farther. The warning comes just as some students across the country return to the classroom and where mass mandates and ventilation systems are being scrutinized. With no one-size-fits-all rule, the new report suggests six feet apart should be a starting point, but increasing your social distance isn't always an option. The general public should not be scared about this, but they should certainly be aware. The more you can separate from other people, the less likely you are to get coronavirus. And for those returning to the office, no matter how far spread apart you are, experts agree wearing a mask gives you an extra layer of protection, minimizing your risk even when few others are around. Tonight, Americans encouraged to take a step back as our nation moves forward. Miguel Almaguer, NBC News, Los Angeles. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.